<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. When last we left off, we saved Limcrest from Zan's Wrath. And now we'll be moving on to the next Orb Saga quest. Unfortunately, I already tried to record this once, and I ran into some video complications. So, we're gonna have to start from the beginning here. Replay. I like the music that goes along with this little cinematic here. I like the subtle change from uh, Scowl to Smirk. One more rebel for Sekduat. Thank you, stranger. If you had not been distracting him, he might have slipped away again. Uh, no problem. Happy to do my part. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> this sand rat is a member of the so-called Resistance. Tell me, did you know you were having a conversation with a wanted man? Yes, he's a rebel too. What? And we're just standing in the middle of town in an open market making plans to defeat you and overthrow the tyrant who hired you. Come on, Zoom, how stupid do you think we are? Very, but I see your point. Even you rebels couldn't be that stupid. This rogue was just in the wrong place at the right time. <clears throat> I have a name. It's Hunter. I was just trying to buy this guy's snapping camel off of him. Say, did you see where it went? It looks like he won't need it anymore after we're after you're done with him. Haha, <laughs> I like your attitude. I am Zoom. And I have no plans to kill this man, just deliver him to Sektuat. What the Emperor does with him, or with the members of the Resistance, is his business. You seem like someone who could appreciate a little gold. I'm going to return this man to the palace and collect one more bounty. After that, we will return here. Come see me if you want some work. Or after that, I will return here. I'll do that. And so, right before Zoom showed up, there was a bit of a conversation going on before the little cinematic where the rebel guy was talking to me. <clears throat> Basically asking for help in exchange for the location, or the information on the location of the light orb. But now... Zoom here has apprehended him. Also, in the recording of the first attempt of this, I managed to level up, and now I've got a cool looking. Now we've got these snazzy. I don't even know exactly what to call them, but they're classified as daggers. Alright, the hard way. I have good news. I have located another of the rebels. He rests in the ruins to the west at this very moment, hiding from the sun. His name is Kasuf. And he has been able to elude me thus far, but I am a patient ranger. His days are numbered, and the number is small. <laughs> I don't think you needed to add that part, you could have just said his days are numbered, man. I would like you to meet me at the ruins and help me capture this desert snake. That will cut his chances of escaping. Or, that will cut his chances of another escape in half. Kasuf can hide, but not forever. We will need to leave the ruins. Or, he will need to leave the ruins for water eventually. There will be no escape for him this time. I have chased Kasuf across the desert many times. He is, a slip he is as slippery as a sand trout. Um, is... Does trout not mean fish in this world? I would... Whatever, who cares. But finally, I have driven him to hide in these ruins. The locals say that there is only one way in and one way out. You're going to go in and search for him. He hides himself well, so search well. I will wait here. If he slips past me or tries to run, then you will be waiting here to capture him. A classic squeeze play. Very good. You have a quick mind. 
I may make a ranger of you yet. If you do not return within the hour, I will come looking for you. Don't worry, Zoom. I will find Kasuf. It was... The screen was dark longer than I would have expected it to be. Oh, I am so happy this is back, because this was going to be super weird. I was running into internet problems while I was trying to record, so the game would just have trouble loading. And one of the side effects was that the uh, sound effects were gone. So it was just... And because I suck at keeping commentary consistently, you know, I often, you know, just go on silent pauses because I don't have anything to say because I'm not very good at this. But because I suck at keeping conversation the whole time, there was just awkward silence. Like, there wasn't even the sound of the game to comfort you. It was just dead air the whole time. So, overall, I'm not too upset that I lost that recording. I thought about maybe putting, like, I don't know, some music from the game in the background. But clearly that's not necessary anymore. Ouch. I guess I can't go that way. It looked like an alternate route. You know, I haven't used, like, what is this, the disease elemental? It's super weird, because disease is different than poison, as far as... The different types of damage in this game are strange sometimes, honestly. But, yeah, I don't think I've ever really used a disease elemental all that... Especially not since the uh, sound effect overhaul. So, the noises that the weapon makes when it hits them is pretty cool. Fine, fine. I'm tired of running away. Just take me. Relax. I'm one of the good guys. My name is Hunter. I'm with the Resistance. Same as you. I met one of the other members just before Zoom captured him. He asked for my help and said he could lead me to the Light Orb, or the Orb of Light. Ah. If you have come to help us, then we still have hope. I will help you with your search, but we must escape these runes first. Zoom is waiting out front. He knows that it is the only way out. I can only try to distract him. Or, I can try to distract him. It would never work. One Zoom sets his mind to a task. He does not lose focus. He could win a staring, or he could win a staring contest with Jimmy the Eye. <laughs> well, I could try and sneak you out in my backpack. If it can hold that many weapons, there must be room for you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now you're just being silly. I do know of a secret way out of these runes. But it may be more dangerous than facing Zoom. I can't risk blowing my cover. Tell me about the other way. And there's a back door, but there are several desert beasts and the doors that stand between us and freedom. There are several desert beasts and doors that stand between us and freedom. A rogue of your power should have little trouble with the monster, but the doors are another matter. They are deadly traps. Each door has a timed puzzle attached to it. And you must find the right combination of five ancient glyphs before the timer runs out. What do you think? It's not, it kind of sounds like fun. Monsters and deadly traps are fun. I can't believe I'm putting my life in your hands. You worry too much. Just stay behind me. I don't want you getting hurt. Ah. Our player character takes setbacks in stride, doesn't he? Why does it keep... He keeps blacking out, like longer than normal. Oh, how sneaky healing area. So, in my 
previous attempt at recording this, I've discovered that this isn't one of the most interesting orb quests. Um, they do eventually start to get pretty good. Like, I th the dark orb is really cool, that quest line. I enjoy that one quite a bit. The fire orb is one of the best examples of early... It's one of the earliest examples of really good writing in this game. Uh, I'm trying to think. The Earth Orb quest is super long, but I remember most of that being pretty good. Let's see. can't really remember much about the water one. I remember the general idea, but I don't remember the specifics all that much. I think that one was pretty good, all things considered. Let's see, we already did wind. And to be fair, oh, this changes every time, I think. Yeah, I think the combination was different last time. And to be fair, there's every chance that this quest gets more interesting in the second half. Or, yeah, that these quests get more interesting in the second half. I don't really remember. This just wasn't one of the ones that stuck out to me. Thankfully, so far, the enemies haven't really been being much of a pain. Honestly, I always remember the beetle as being fairly agitating. biggest worry right now is that I run out of mana before uh, I find the exit. Not that it will be super terrible because I could just run back to that healing pad. It's just, uh, I just uh, don't feel like taking the t wow, time to do that right now. And that'd be a long way to run by this point, so if I can avoid it, I will. That was definitely a different combination than the first time I tried this. Ouch. We'll just throw on these heat or these mana potions here. Mm. I'm trying to. The sun's fake looks kind of like a raptor of some variety, but I can't really nail down if that's what they were going for. I'd have to assume so. Sorry about that, my nose was 
pretty itchy. I think the last, or I think the next door will be the last one. At least I hope so. Um, what else? I ended up beating Persona 5 the other day. I really enjoyed that game. I... it was definitely... Well, no. Wow. That's trailed off for no reason. It was definitely different than 4 in a lot of ways, but as far as the themes go, but both games execute the themes that they're going for pretty well. So that makes them both really good for different reasons. I don't really know which one I prefer over the other. I think I can safely say that uh, I like Persona 5's protagonist more, again, more than Persona 4's. Well, at least as far as game protagonist, uh, Anime Yunarakami is significantly <laughs> more interesting than uh, I'm gonna is significantly more interesting than game version of Yunarakami, <laughs> at least in my experience. You did it. We're alive. Thank me later. Right now, you need to escape these ruins. Hide yourself and cover your tracks. I'll go back and tell Zoom that I couldn't find you in the ruins. Excuse me. He'll still be after you, but this will buy you enough time to hide. I can never thank you enough. The best I can do is pay you an in information. I'm afraid that I don't know about much about the Orb of Light, but I do know another rebel who does. Our laws prevent me from telling you her name, but you can find her in the Oasis Inn. How will I tell? How will I know her if you can't tell me her name? There's a way that we recognize each other. You must walk into the inn with a blue desert lotus. Its ability to survive in the desert against all odds makes it the perfect symbol for our rebellion. You must go to the wasteland to the west of town. You will find a blue desert lotus, lotus somewhere there. Bring the flower into the oasis inn. She will know that you are a friend of the resistance, and she will approach you. Thank you, Kasuf. I know you're risking... A lot to let me know these secrets. It's no risk at all. I know that I can trust you. Good luck. You too, now get out of here. You have to run for your life while I go pick a flower. <laughs> Alright. Mummy's curse. Interesting. Zoom, give me those heels. Uh, blue... the blue lotus. Do not worry. Kasuf simply is simply blessed with the ability to run and hide. Like most cowards, I'm not sure how he escaped. But we will have or but we will always have another chance to catch him. Unfortunately, all my all of my leads have run dry. The only thing we can do now is search and wait. When we were returning to the ruins, you asked about the wastelands to the west. This is your chance to investigate them. If you find any trace of the rebels, do not attack them alone. I won't I do not want you getting hurt. <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? Come to me and we will attack them together. I will stay in town and search here. The rebels have a supply line and supply line and it must start here. Good luck on your search in the wastelands. <laughs> I like the headband on this elemental. It's a funny little bit of style they added to it there.
Gotcha. 